Hello, my name is Peter Johnson. I'm the Director of Admissions at the Woodring College of Education. Thank you so much for taking the time to attend this virtual presentation. This is my third or fourth time doing this, and I've had mistakes up to this point, so I'm really crossing my fingers that it works this time. So again, I really appreciate your willingness to come uh, see this virtual presentation and understanding the kind of strange circumstances we're all in with this COVID-19 pandemic. Really hope that all of you are staying healthy and safe and washing your hands a lot. Uh, with that being said, welcome. Uh, we're excited to have you here and let's move on with the presentation. Again, my name is Peter. Um, I'm the Director of Admissions at the Woodring College of Education. And when I say Woodring, what exactly does that mean? Um, a question we often ans ask in this presentation is, what's the difference between a university and a college? Um, so you've all applied to and hopefully are planning on, t planning on attending Western Washington University. And Western Washington University is comprised of seven different colleges. One of those colleges is the Woodring College of Education. There's also the College of Humanities and Social Sciences, College of Science and Engineering, etc. So just because you've applied and been admitted into the Western Washington University doesn't exactly mean that you've been admitted into the Woodring College of Education. So when we talk about teacher education and how it specifically fits within Western, just know that your first year here, if you're not transferring any credit, it's very likely that you'll be um, taking what we call general university requirements, which uh, span a wide range of different subject areas from math to science to social sciences to humanities. And you'll be doing that probably your first year. After that first year, you'll start taking classes in your major that are going to be contributing to you um, uh, graduating and hopefully obtaining that teacher certification. Um, so let's talk about what programs we offer here at uh, Woodring. We offer an early childhood education program which is designed to help students get certified in early childhood education which allows them to teach preschool through third grade. We have an elementary education program which is designed to help students uh, obtain their license to teach kindergarten through eighth grade. We have a secondary education program, which is designed to help students obtain a high school endorsement, which ranges grades 5 through 12. We say secondary education because there's a lot of different content areas that you can get certified in, like math, English language arts, social studies, PE, etc. We also have a special education program, which is a dual endorsement program. So it's designed to help you get a special education endorsement, which allows you to teach preschool through 12th grade, as well as an elementary education endorsement or a secondary education endorsement. So if you enter a special education program, you'll always leave it with multiple endorsements to teach different areas. We also house a human services program here at Western. Uh, sorry, Woodring, and it's a, it's a big part of our programs and um, has a commitment to social justice and is specifically designed for students not interested specifically in teaching in a K-12 setting, but maybe interested in social work, that type of uh, kind of job area. So I've utilized the word endorsement a few times, and I think it's important to clarify the difference between a major and an endorsement. So a major is something that Western Washington gives you. It's what's listed on your diploma. It's what you graduate with. An endorsement is something that's listed on your teaching license. It's what the state of Washington gives you, and it designates what grade levels and subject areas you can teach. So, for example, elementary education the endorsement will allow you to teach kindergarten through eighth grade, but there's a number of different majors that lead to that specific endorsement. So if you want to follow along with this chart for me, we have an early childhood major, which allows you to graduate with an early childhood major as well as an early childhood endorsement. Our elementary education program, though, has a number of different program aligned majors, which are designed to add different content to our special education professional program. So for example, you can major in math for elementary education or science, general science for elementary education. Or for example, we have a specific major called language, literacy, and cultural studies, which is designed to give you content in ELL, 
bilingual education so that when you graduate you'll have an endorsement to teach elementary education as well as English language learners ELL. So I recognize that this can be very confusing and a common theme you'll see throughout this presentation is that we really really hope you connect with myself or our admissions counselor Maddie or our other counselor um, our senior consultant of diversity recruitment and retention Daisy Padilla and it's very important for us to be able to connect with you and help you plan your educational journey here at Western. Um, it's the best part of our job. And so I really encourage you after this presentation to take down our information so that you can set up an appointment with us. To continue on and how majors fit specifically in our programs, secondary education has a number of endorsement aligned majors as well, similar to elementary education. So you wouldn't major in secondary education, you'd major in your specific content area, like math, so math for secondary education. And that's going to desi be designed to give you an endorsement to teach mathematics at the high school level. Similarly, there are other areas that are like that English language arts for secondary education, social studies, etc. Um, and then finally, our special education program is similar to early child education, where the major is called special education. And so you'll major in special education as well as um, getting another multiple endorsements in, in special education as well as elementary education or secondary education. So again, I know this is a pretty confusing slide. I tried my best to kind of explain it and make it clear. But if you have any questions after this, feel free to shoot me an email or give me a call. I'd be more than happy to work with you. So let's go over some of the basic requirements to enter our program. As I mentioned before, just because you're admitted and decide to attend Western Washington University doesn't mean that you're admitted into one of our programs. So there is a separate application process um, that's tied to entering our program. And see, here are some of our basic requirements. There's a basic skills assessment. Um, if you've taken the SAT or the ACT, then you've already met that requirement. If you haven't taken one of those tests, then there is a need for you to take one of those tests or what is called the WESTB. Um, if you have any questions as to whether or not you've met that basic skills assessment requirement, feel free to reach out. We're happy to work with you. Uh, all of our programs have at least a 2.75 GPA requirement. Um, we kind of encourage you to aim for B's or betters, uh, B's or betters, no, B's or better uh, while you're here at Western, and then you don't have to worry about that GPA requirement. Um, all of our programs require English 101, and all of our programs re require at least 45 or more credits. So again, as I mentioned, that first year you're here at Western, you're probably going to be taking what we call GURs, or General University Requirements, and it won't be until probably your sophomore year, or maybe halfway through your sophomore year, until when you'll be applying to one of our programs. Now let's talk about math. I know that math is something that can cause a lot of you, a lot of people out there anxiety. Um, if you are interested in elementary, early child, or special education, there is a math requirement to get to one of those programs. That math requirement is either intermediate college algebra, or you can take the math placement test at Western and score a 45 or higher. Intermediate college algebra is math 112 here at Western. Um, if math is something that causes you anxiety or something that you struggle with, please, uh, this is another great reason to set up an appointment with us because there's a number of ways that you can go about meeting this math requirement. And we'd be happy to talk about the best path for you uh, when it comes to meeting that math requirement for one of your programs. So as I mentioned before, um, there, there will be a need for you to apply to one of our programs. And so you might be wondering when is the right time to apply. For our special education and early childhood education, we require at least 45 credits. So typically, um, when you reach a sophomore standing, um, uh, is when that when you'll want to apply to one of those programs. We requ we prefer that all of your GUR requirements have been met. So um, it's not required, but it's definitely a preference that once you've applied and you've entered our program, that all you're going to be taking is our program. For elementary education, uh, they require at least 75 credits um, and prefer that all of your GUR requirements are, are completed as well. So it's likely that um, you'll be halfway through your sophomore year, potentially, before you apply to our elementary education program. Again, every student's journey is an individual journey um, through Western and 
there's different timing depending on the different student. So it's another great reason to try and set up an appointment with us and we can talk about your specific journey, how many credits you're transferring in, and make sure that we come up with a customized plan specifically for you. If you're interested in secondary education, as I mentioned before, you're going to want to get on route with one of those approved majors in your first year. Um, when we talk about those approved majors, we're talking about the major specifically in the content area that you're hoping to teach at the high school level. So math for secondary education, English language arts for secondary education. Um, it's likely that you won't be applying to our secondary program until your final year here at Western, so your fourth year, because you'll be taking that whole major in that different department in that specific area you're hoping to teach. Um, and in that fourth year, or potentially as a graduate program, as a master's in teaching program, um, you'll be taking the all the classes that teach you how to teach that specific content in the school. So as I mentioned before, it's really important to kind of sketch out of sketch out a timeline when you're here at Western, um, and to ask for help. And working with students is the best part of our jobs. We do it every day, and we want to make sure that you're not wasting any time or money when you're here at Western. So please, um, maybe sketch out a timeline, check in with us, and see if if it makes sense, or or maybe you're missing something, or we can sketch out a timeline together. So some next steps for you as an individual is um, definitely confirm your attendance to Western if you haven't yet. Um, we have uh, a really wonderful teacher prep program, highly regarded, and we're really hopeful to get students that are passionate and engaged about wanting to become teachers into our programs and help them ac uh, accomplish all their dreams. Um, things that you can do is to volunteer with kids. It's really important to get experience with youth in an educational setting. It's very possible that you'll spend a few weeks working or a few months working with fourth graders and realize, oh my gosh, I hate fourth graders. And that's a really important thing to recognize uh, when you want to become a teacher. And maybe it's going to make you realize that maybe you want to teach a younger age or maybe elementary education isn't the route for you and maybe you want to teach at the high school level. So definitely try to find opportunities to volunteer with kids in an educational setting. If you're interested in elementary elementary education, early childhood education, or special education, we definitely encourage you to stay up on your math skills. It'll be important because you will need to meet that requirement if you haven't yet already. And then finally, as I mentioned before, please set up an appointment with an advisor, um, one of the three individuals that I'm going to be showing you in this next slide. Um, it's going to be so valuable to you as a student to set up an appointment with us, um, make sure that you're not taking classes you don't need to take, that um, you're taking classes that are going to be leading into our programs, um, that you're applying at the right time, and that you'll be able to take all the classes that you need to take in order to help you finish your degree and get your teacher certificate. So. As I mentioned before, we're here for you. Maddie Bishop is our admissions counselor. Her contact information is here. As I mentioned, uh, Daisy Padilla Torres is our senior consultant for diversity, recruitment, and retention, and is a really wonderful resource as well and can help you with any questions you might have um, or questions you might have around our pathway program, Future Woodring Scholars as well. And then finally, I'm Peter Johnson. I'm director of admissions, and my contact information is here as well. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time uh, to view my presentation. I'm really sorry if I made mistakes or said some things that were unclear. It's a little more difficult in this virtual setting where you can't kind of ask your, your questions and we can clarify those questions during the presentation. So I encourage you to reach out to me via email or over the phone if, if you still have questions that weren't answered through this presentation. So uh, thank you again, and I hope you're staying healthy and safe. Have a great day.